Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Joey Bridges. I'm joined by my brother James. And today we want to talk about something that maybe you maybe you've thought of, maybe you're doing, maybe you just can take it to the max. And that's about providing your customers with options. Uh, now we're a big fan of saying, hey, you don't uh, you don't sell someone something, you don't you know pitch them something. Uh, what you do uh, when you really want to get going, when you're really generating sales, really all you're doing is actually providing people options. You're letting them make the choice. Um, what it makes them feel like is, hey, they're in control. But remember. Who put the options in front of them? Wait, and here's what uh, we want you to think about. It's not a matter. You don't want them to say if they're going to do business with you. It's how they're going to do business oh, with yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. So which, you know, it's really how, which. How am I going to do business with you? Am I going to choose option one, option two, option three? Now, James ran into an interesting kind of uh, situation, just kind of real world, if you will, at, uh, you know, getting a car tinted. Yeah, now it seems like a very, uh, you know, very normal process, They're right? There's lots of, you know, tin shops around. Lots of, you know, dealers will do uh, tint your windows. However, uh, what I did say, I went online. I uh, went online and I looked at some reviews, found one. It wasn't the closest one, but I'll tell you, uh, one, hey, piqued my interest from uh, the website. Uh, you know, kind of diagnosing any of the problems that you might run into, giving me options of what to consider. Uh, and so I said, hey, I'll give it a try. I'll go, you know, go to the tin shop. So the, one of my pleasant surprises when I got there, they actually gave me four choices of different tint. Now, it wasn't a sales pitch. It wasn't like, oh, here, sir, you know, hey, buy the upper one. Uh, actually, uh, they had a neat little flip book. I was like, hey, look, you know, here's the different uh, features, here's the different benefits per each level. And she quite simply basically left it. Which one did you want at the end? I thought, now there's a neat way to do it. Hey, now I was in control of choosing which one I wanted for the vehicle, which one would be best for me, and how to make it fit, hey, within my budget and with my goals. Very, very easy. She didn't sell me anything. She just gave me options on what to choose. And I thought, hey, how are we always, we always try and provide our customer options, but really, what options are you providing yours? So how are you? And now, regardless of your business, there is something additional you can provide. Maybe it's more service. Maybe it's more high touch. Maybe it's more phone calls. Maybe it's a, you know, higher version of the product. Uh, you know, James and I, you know, we help a lot of, you know, clients with fan pages, uh, Facebook fan pages, getting their businesses on Facebook. And they can choose from one that's, hey, kind of just, they can do it themselves. They can get one that's, you know, ready to go and you know one that's kind of more mm -hmm. i don't want to use basic but it's kind of more standard and it's very there or they can choose a very advanced one that has extreme functionality to it three different options when you're getting looking at your business how can you provide your customers with three different options how can you provide them with additional choices that allow them to choose how they're going to business with you so today that's what we're going to ask and in fact you know feel free to comment let us know what your options be let us know what your product is and let us all try and help you add additional options if you're stuck yeah. there all right, on behalf of James, I'm Joey Bridges. To your success with offering options to your clients.